Hello and welcome to round four of this league. Um, playing Mongoose Control. I have a feeling I played against this guy a couple of days ago. Um, and I think he might be on the four color controls check pile type list. Um, Deluge is good against him, Force not so good. Um, Counterspell should be able to get some value. Um, I think we'll risk keeping this hand and then just thought each turn one. Like, I don't really want to go to six, and this is uh, playable. This at least tells us what we're up against and will inform the ponder next turn. Yeah, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so the push does absolutely nothing against us. I've written down the snap. Brainstorm, Misty, Delta. Um. So I kind of want to take the Snapcaster, um, although the Collar gives him a target for his Collar against Command. Um, his hand's not awful. Maybe there's something to be said for taking either the Ponder or the Brainstorm. I mean, they're, they're two sort of scary cards that give him a bit of value, a Collar against Command and Snapcaster's Mage. Uh, I guess we don't really have a clock, so... Um, maybe we'll just take the Snapcaster Mage. For now, I don't know if that's right. And then next turn, I think we'll want to um, ponder for um, either second round or threat or something like that. Um, the, I mean, the cards from his deck that we're worried about are death right Strixes, two for ones. Um, hmm, that's actually pretty good. Although if the brainstorm doesn't hit land, then that's pretty bad. I think we still sort of uh, go for it. And they might him us next turn, which is pretty awkward. But yeah, you know, I don't have a land to hold a camp spell. Oh no, I've got the snare for the um, uh, him. So I think we'll hold force, pitch force, if they him. Um. I think we'll draw the Jace next turn, because that's probably the, one of the best cards in this matchup. The Deluge uh, could potentially be good, but you know, sort of close away Strixes and stuff, but I think it's probably at least bad. <coughs> okay, good. It would be awkward if he... Um, Cancel. I think he's probably going to aim to brainstorm. Yeah. Well, favor push is not bad. Um, but we just we just desperately need to land. Yay. Um, so I assume next turn, or at some point, he's going to try and cancel spellers. Yeah, uh, not cancel all the Collins commanders. We'll target the Snapcaster. Um, probably make his discard since we have no other reasonable targets for it. Okay, so we don't know the top of our library, so it's fine to draw there. Yeah, we still want to hit land drops. I think it's worth. Playing this now. Ah, this is the worst. Um. Ah, oh, and these cards are all. They, I mean, they, they, they're good cards. Or 
Probably two snares is too many. That's a lot of Snapcaster mages. Um, what do we want to do? I guess I'll forfeit force. We could fit Snapcaster. Like, Snapcaster's an extremely good card in the matchup. Yeah, I'll do the Snapcaster. Uh, I mean, Force is not a good card in this matchup, but I sort of need to. Um, um, I want to hold the camp spell in case I don't hit my third land drop. If I hit my third land drop, I can go on Painful Truths. Um, and then, you know, possibly still have a camp spell for if he tries to make a, a, a Jace or something like that. Uh, Mongoose. Um, well, given that life totals are pretty high, I think. Just gonna play more of a control game. Uh, hey, so I think that's okay. So I know my opponent has Colligan's command still. Am I drawing efficient answers to Colligan's command? Yeah, that's kind of good against what I'm doing. I think we just have to like that. Okay. I don't know if he's waiting until he has a decent target for a run. Uh, Colgan's command. <clears throat> right, so do we painful truths now? Or I guess we could drop the true name now. I mean, yes, painful truths now is, 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 is ridiculous. We have to discard. Um, Right, so the only card we know about that I haven't had is Colligan's Command. Um, We might just see a hard cast force of will here. Interesting. This spell piece is beginning to look pretty bad, so I think this is going to be the. Um, I mean, it's, it's probably pretty good in this matchup in general, but opponents hit so many land drops that I think this is going to become our uh, force of will fodder. He's going to Colligan's command. Fetching Snapcaster. So again, we have the Painful Truths here. Um, 
kind of like the idea of just trying to get rid of cards quite aggressively. Um, although this kind of does nothing, right? Adds a blocker to the board that we can. Well, it adds. So I can block the Snapcaster for days. Like, I don't think I'm going to be really attacking with this true name. I mean, the um, Colligan's Command doing damage to me is not ideal, but it's not like it's actually answering a card. <clears throat> I do need to. Well, this Painful Truth is beginning to look a bit. Bad actually, because then we're going to go to seven, and uh, then five. Uh, but that's fine. Five isn't zero. Well, four from the Strix. So I guess that does turn fetches off. So maybe we're too far behind at this point. Oh, I, sh I should have um, should have bought that. Uh, so forced that. Yay! <clears throat> well, I think not hitting the lands was a bit unfortunate. Um, so here, force of will is generally not great. Um, Marlin seems good. Um, Liliana seems good. I like Dismember as an answer to his uh, um, death match shamans. Life and loans, bit of card advantage. Uh, what else is good? Maybe Fatal Push actually is another answer to um, uh, Death Rite. I wonder if we even bring in this. Um, Golgari Charm is potentially good. Yeah, I think we'll run it like this. I think it's a keep. I mean, it's another awkward one lander, but um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, with two ponders, I think we should be able to dig. I have the decay for his. Um, I have the push as well. Uh, so two damage is pretty good, but I think we'll. Uh, We'll probably shuffle it away. <clears throat> okay, I think next turn we're probably going to fake to push his um, uh, death right if that's what he plays. No, if not, we're going to do a camp spell, obviously. There's maybe some benefit to trying to dig for the um, the third land drop, but I think we can um, actually do that next turn. I don't think he's playing Spyfall. I think you want to be a more aggressive deck for that. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. I guess we'll ponder. The probability of Jace resolving next turn is very low, so I'm sort of looking for. Um, uh, yeah, Liliana's good. I guess we can land, land Liliana. I don't want an instant in the graveyard for the Snapcaster. Maybe we'll play the Cabal Pit next turn. Um, and then at some point we're going to have um, Liliana with um, uh, Cav Spell backup. Yeah, I mean, we've got loads of gas, let's just hit land drops.
Have we done counterspell that? I think I want to counterspell something that costs two or more. Actually, to be honest, the Jace is probably going to be Red Blast if we try and resolve that. Come to Turak. Seems like a good thing to be counterspelling. Fluster Storm is back, okay. Oh. Hopefully, he'll miss the, uh, <laughs> the Jace or the Snapcaster. Ah, excellent. <clears throat> so I think here we stand the Jace. Um, even though he has, I suspect he's going to have uh, two Red Blasts, two Bolts in his deck. Um, so to play around the Bolts, we might want to um, plus, but I think just getting the cards now. Like if we're lucky, we'll get another activation out of this. Um... I mean, he could Jace next turn. <laughs> but if he Jaces, he's probably going to... Uh, uptake. Uh, let's try this. I haven't really thought about that in a huge amount of detail. But <coughs> Okay, that's totally fine. When it fails to land. So the Liliana is going to have to eat the Lava Mancer. Um, okay, so what, what is it we're going to do? That's three. So then we can push the other one, hold up Snare, or we can Thought Seize. And. Snare of Foxies. Snare of Foxies. We might as well Foxies first. Ah, we have bottlenecks on black. Ugh. I think this is fine though. Uh, Which is a little bit awkward, but I think we're generating enough value. Sort of hopefully our opponent. Well, Pyroblast is going to be pretty good against this, but 
don't think we're going to be able to do anything about that. Cool. Um, so I think we'll probably just run it back. Um, Like after seeing the Liliana, he might bring his decays back in. Um, so I'm not 100% sure the Pithy Needle is good. Um, but you know, we really only have two good targets for, you know, for that. Let's keep this. Painful Truths. Bunch of cantrips. <clears throat> When it ponders us rather than uh, doing too much. Uh, you can't cast him to trap a volcanic island, so that's quite pleasant. Um, yeah, I think we'll ponder and then maybe next turn hold up Town Spell or Brainstorm or something. Uh, yeah, I don't think I actually like these that much. I mean, we've already got a Fatal Push if he plays a um, Death Rite next turn. Like the land drops vaguely good, but it doesn't tap the blue, so that's not great. So I think we'll, we'll just shuffle. <coughs> There's a land drop that taps the blue. <coughs> wow, this doesn't cast Bale for strips either. Sir, your mana base is a travesty. Okay, so now we'll main phase, brainstorm. Yeah, we'll just play that. Take my beats. <laughs> pretty pretty good about this game now. Um, what do I want to do? I think we'll probably drop the mongoose next turn. We should shuffle away some of these cards. Pretty good though. I mean, I want to hit a fourth land so I can play Larwin. Um, yeah, let's just draw land. Those goose is pretty far off for uh, fresh, but yeah, we'll get we'll get there. <coughs> you might be looking to do something like play um hmm. you kinda wanna hit a land. So I was gonna say you might be looking to uh yeah, be casting like a um a Leovold with Pyroblast. Back Let's try and find a land. Not the right land. So I guess we'll get a Liliana. Probably don't need another one of those. <clears throat> 
So we'll, we'll, we'll leave like counter spell, snare, and push up. Yeah, that would be pretty good now. As indeed would um, painful truths. Uh, I think we're looking for something like a, um, a Jace or a... Uh, all sorts of good stuff. <coughs> yeah, opponent seems to be floating out now. So Jace with Pyroblast back up, maybe? Or are they going to play like a uh, live old? Yeah, this feels like. Then they'll pyroblast and we'll camp spell. And then hopefully we'll draw a. Um, hope draw Snapcaster Mage. Must be nice. <coughs> yeah, it's more lands. Like, there's actually, I guess it is worth playing because it's a fetch. So as soon as it is, yeah, sure. I thought it was going to be a live old. <clears throat> well, let's see what's up. Well, we definitely take the Snap Custom Mage here. Uh, the Bolt does not do a huge amount, though we'll answer our, our low one. I guess, like, Snapcaster Ponder is a thing that we could have done. We could Snapcast Brainstorm. I uh, say, so, well, let's. Uh, Pass the turn <coughs> and see what they do. If they don't do anything, then we'll snap brainstorm. Uh, that is a good one uh, to counter, I think. If their last card is, uh, you know, Pyroblast or, well, just simply Pyroblast, that'd be very awkward. Counter spell we have to snare for. Uh, sure, it's pretty good. Oh, we're both flooding. I 
Hopefully he's going to ditch the bolt. Like, I, I still wonder if um, Snapcaster Brainstorm might have been the better play. Uh, <clears throat> um, I think we have to go after the red sources. I think they only really play about two. <clears throat> I'm surprised we haven't seen Strixes or Death. Well, this was in Death Rite. We have the um, needle on that. Okay, so he plays three red sources. My the version of this deck that I was testing only had uh, two, but I think he's playing a more red heavy version. <clears throat> hmm. You know, shuffling away that painful truth is probably a mistake. Like clearly better than Marlin Sephiroth Empress here. Uh, so this is a Collins command. Uh, probability of this resolving roughly zero. Hopefully, I'll just play a snapcaster. If you know that. I know he's got the bolt in hand, but I am going to brainstorm with this. So he doesn't get countered. Uh, maybe I should have run out of the wall and... I, I should have just killed that, like... I don't think I'm going to get much better than, uh, you know, although Lalan effectively answers that, I think he's got the bolt in hand. <coughs> yeah, I guess we have to snap cast the bolt. <coughs> You can sack cast a counter spell on the bolt. Uh, sure. Six, seven, eight, nine.
because uh, this is Bay, so I should have touched Bay first. Counter count is power, plus the storm. Okay, I can't. Cannot pay for that. Uh, hmm. I guess we kind of have to win the game at some point. There we go, here are the Strixes. Hmm, here's a track. Uh, so I could snapcast a snare that, or I could just snapcast a brainstorm. Just snapcast a brainstorm. Uh, I use Blade Faster. Well, this game is sweet. <gasps> I will take it all. Uh, black, blue, green. Oh, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Choose you. Well, so Snapcaster Painful Truths would be pretty bad. Uh, Decay we beat. Sad to see the mongoose go, but you know. Let's find something sweet. Uh, 
Two and a half minutes on the clock, playing at usual glacial pace. Uh, I think we'll just shuffle this. Sort of want Loam on here or something. Jace. Wasteland isn't terrible. So we'll go after the um, red sources. <coughs> Yes! Bug gets there. Um, some questionable, like, I think I should have run out the lawn a bit earlier and um, shuffling the painful truths away the early game was pretty bad. You know, at the time I had a lot of cards in hand. Um, but, you know, we're obviously going to get to a game state where uh, we're both in the top deck war and it would have been really good there. Uh, you know, casting painful truths for two was pretty dumb. Uh, but, uh, when you're playing quickly and trying to talk, that can be a little bit of a challenge. Um, I don't know if this was worth it. Like, especially given my opponent had Colligan's command, you know, that's just makes it easier for them to um, two for one. Um, but certainly mid game there, like, it felt like I had way too much removal in hand. So, um, you know, bringing in, you know, I think it is possible to have too much removal against these sorts of value decks. Um, although it is quite important that you get rid of Death Rite Shaman because then that turns on your. Uh, Snapcasters. Anyway, that was uh, that was fun.